Um, so I think with the pandemic, what we've seen is an acceleration in that. I know for me personally, I've had probably in the last six or eight months, I've had 10 or 15 conversations about that. Should I take the lump sum that I'm being offered or should I wait till I'm 65 and take the, the, you know, the monthly pension payment that, that they're offering me? Um, and we can go through an example. There's some, you know, some present Good. value calculations sure. that, that you go through. And there are also a couple calculators online that will help you work through this process to help you make that decision. So generally with a pension, you're going to get a check a month for as long as you live, or you can take the option, a survivor option, which means that your spouse will get something if you pass away. However, if she passes away first, you don't get a step up generally in the, in the benefit. In other words, they don't increase your benefit if you took right. the survivor option. Exactly. And when you die, it's all over. It's gone. So, so those are some of the considerations. So, what's, what are the calculations that you go through? So, so just in terms of an example, say that you were going to get paid twelve hundred dollars a month at age sixty-five, mm -hmm. and you're age fifty-seven at this particular time. Mm -hmm. So, the first part of the calculation is we would look at that twelve hundred dollars, and we would assume maybe a twenty-five year life expectancy from age sixty-five. Mm -hmm. And a dollar today is worth more than a dollar. 20 years from now or 15 years from now. So we would discount the sum of those payments. Right. In this particular example, that the dollars would be $360,000. But some of it's gonna be paid out over a period of years. So if you discount that $1,200 a month back to a present value at your age 65, that $360,000 translates to about $205,000. Mm -hmm. So that's the first part of the calculation. So then you look at the lump sum and in this particular example, the person's 57 years old, and they're offering a lump sum of $150,000, say. And you, you look at a, a reasonable return, say, 4 to 6%, and what that $150,000 would be eight years from now mm -hmm. when that 57-year-old person is now 65. Right. And then you compare those two numbers. 